Hey, what is going on everybody? And welcome to this episode of Eddie's Customs and Restoration. So I got the Chevelle in the shop right now. And you know, I got these original seats. And that's what I sport every time, right? And that's that's what I've had for a while. Well, they're good. They look nice. You know, they're they're decent. However, you don't have the side bolster support. You know, they're they're really squeaky. You can hear all the springs and everything on them. So I wanted something that was really going to hold me while doing my spirited driving, if you know what I mean. So I went ahead and got on the interwebs and I started looking for some, some seats. So originally the plan was to get some Camaro seats because they already have the SS on the, on the headrest, right? Well, the reason I did not go with the Camaro seats is because if you notice... The, the floor on the Chevelles is pretty much level with the bottom of the seat. I mean, not exactly, but you got about this much, you know, that, that goes down, right? So on a Camaro, which I can actually walk over to my Camaro right now. Okay, so we're out here. Excuse my glorified mess. I don't really clean my car very often. But look at this. You, you have a really tall rocker right so the seat has to travel down quite a ways right so that makes for a really tall seat base okay so that's a really tall seat base so with that being said camaro seats were not going to look very good on this car so i needed something that was going to be shorter and not so tall right which is uh when I decided to start looking into Corvette seats. And I found these guys right here. These are out of a C7 Corvette, I believe 2016. Long story short, uh, the only details that are, are worth saying is that I got these seats really cheap. These seats go for $2,500 around that pretty much everywhere on eBay. And I found them locally and I was able to get these seats for $700. So that was really cheap. So we're gonna go through the process of installing these seats on this bad boy. So we're gonna do that right now. I have another video that I'm gonna upload on how to do the wiring to get the, uh, uh, the power seats going on, on the C7 seats, okay? Because of course, you have a connector down here and well there's a bunch of wires and who knows what's what right so without further ado let's dig into it let's take off those ugly seats all right so let's get started taking the seat off passenger seat and let's see what what else we find down there there we go I see my daughter's toy down there already. So you got those two, and then you got you got another. Actually, you might be able to see it right there. It's that guy right there. See, so the way I'll get to that one is through the back right here. Okay, uh, that one's kind of loose, but uh, in order to get my hand in there better, I need to I need to lift the seat up a little bit so I can really unscrew the the bolt. So I'm just gonna move along to the other one now, and it's on the on the same spot, just on the opposite side, of course. I brought the light over so you guys can kind of see once I. Since I'm actually taking it all off. Okay, so that was a nut. Oh, and I forgot to mention it's a half inch. So now, this guy right here, I'm gonna lift up on it. You can see the bolt down there, see that? I had already unscrewed the majority of it out, so. I have the GoPro on my head, so hopefully I got a good angle for you guys. Make 
sure you get your seat belt out. So, let's move along. My baby little toy. I'm gonna go ahead and take some measurements here now. Okay, so what I ended up doing here is I marked the holes where they're at, right here, right? Or actually not the holes, but the studs on the car. These, these green marks around are what's actually on the Corvette seats. What I kind of, what I'm kind of looking at here is I might not have to mess with the front ones and uh, I, I might have to reinforce them a little bit because I'm gonna be kind of close to the edges, but it might look like all I gotta bring in is the rear ones. I might need to bring the back ones in a little bit. Let me pull this off from here. All this is is poster board. You can get this for like 50 cents. I have my seat mocked up right here. What I probably should do is I should cut this out. A little easier. Okay, so if I see this guy, I can actually drill. Let me get a marker. I wanna be really close to that edge, right? And then I can bring these guys, just these, back over here. Oh man. So I need to come all the way over here, right? I need to, I need to make piece that is gonna go from this hole all the way over here. So that metal plate is gonna go like that. Let's get to it. Okay, so now that they're all sandblasted and all, I'm gonna go ahead and shoot some Krylon all-in-one, which is supposed to be like a primer and a paint and all that. Don't really believe it, but it's gonna be inside the car, you know. This stuff right here, this is what I was talking about. Let's go ahead and talk about the pieces that you're gonna need to cut out. So for the top ears, or for the top mounts right here, you're gonna need to make two of these. Right, and the measurements of those is gonna be roughly uh, two and three quarters by uh, an inch and a half. Okay, as you can see that, it's about an inch and a half and, and two and three quarters, which is right here. It's... And then you're gonna need two of these, which you don't need these guys to be this long, however, uh, a good mock-up so that I can best explain to you guys on, on how to do this is we're gonna use the bottom corners or the bottom corner of this right and what we're gonna do is we are going to set that at the very bottom of this right there and we're gonna line it up okay so we're gonna line up the edge of, uh, of this bracket right here and we're gonna line it up with that one and the bottom so we're gonna be right at the at the end of this right we're gonna be right there and that's how we're gonna set it up and we're gonna do a tack weld right there so we're gonna want this flush we're gonna do the same on this side right now let me tell you the measurements on this <clears throat> you're gonna need to make six and a quarter lengthwise uh, it's gonna be six and a quarter and the width is gonna be two and a quarter, two inches and one quarter. Now it's not gonna remain this this large. You're only making it this large for the very beginning for the mock-up and then you can trim after the fact. But I want to be able to give you guys some measurements as well as for, for the little ones over here, for the top ones, I'm gonna tell you exactly where to put them and everything. And then you're gonna make yourself a couple of other additional little pieces like these uh, these don't have to be a hundred percent exact and I'll tell you why in a second but you can make one two inches and a quarter by seven eighths 
okay? If, if it's, uh, yeah, make it seven eighths. If you go up to an inch, it's fine. And the reason for that, the reason you need these little ones is because you're gonna be like this. You're gonna have to fill in the gap on the side. You know, you're gonna fill in this gap, sorry, right here, because you're actually gonna have this mount. You're only keeping basically this part. You're not keeping this. So you are essentially wasting material here, but so that everyone, you know, can kind of get a very easy idea, we're gonna use this bottom uh, part of the mount as, you know, your guide. And this is actually gonna get cut off right there because if you leave it on, you're gonna see it in the car. And let me take you to the car so you can see what I'm talking about. And excuse the mess. That mount, the one on the seat is actually was actually all the way over here so you see how ugly that would look you know you're gonna have your seat all nice and everything and it's not just gonna stop here now you're gonna have a whole tail that's gonna go all the way over here it, it did not look good so i had to cut it off get rid of it did not want it there uh, but this is pretty this is the passenger seat it's installed well this is this is how it looks um yeah, well there's another video on how to wire up the seats it's not a full wiring video but it's uh telling you which wires to to tap into so that your controls work anyway coming back to this you know we're gonna we're gonna have this this uh bracket here and then we're gonna need to fill this gap so we're gonna come here like this you see what I'm doing there? And we're gonna weld this piece onto here. So you're actually gonna have to make this one shorter. So it's not gonna be two inches and whatever I told you, two inches and a quarter. It's actually gonna be less now that I'm thinking about it. So uh, let's measure this. Actually, now that we're on camera, now that we're live in a sense. So we're gonna, we're gonna make our bracket from there. So. What does that measure right here? So we're we're basically at about an, an inch and a half. So yeah, you're gonna make this one an inch and a half long by one inch. So that right there will fill in both because those are gonna be the two sides that are going to attach to the sides of this. The cut you're gonna make here is you're gonna make the cut like this. You see where this little square or rectangle that's in here, where it ends right at the very end right there, that is where you're gonna stop. So you wanna make a straight line all the way across and you're gonna wanna cut it like that. This guy is basically gonna cut like this. So now we're gonna go ahead and, and start uh, putting these little these little plates. And remember, they're one eighth thick. I left this exposed down here, so I, I uh, painted the top part and painted the the bottom part. This is the perfect view from down here because you get to see exactly where you gotta put it. So you see where this hump barely starts, where it barely starts right there. Well, that's where you want to put it. All right, so you want to set this in, follow the curve, and right where it ends right there, you want to make sure it's nice and straight and flat, you know, if, you, if you're looking at it like that. So all we're going to do is we're going to do two tacks. We're going to do one on this side and one on that side. And bear with me, I do not have my welding helmet on, so I'm going to be literally shutting my eyes when I, when I weld so that I, of course, don't go blind. Okay, see that's that's flat right there. We're gonna go ahead and put the other weld right here. The the layer of paint that I put is super thin. It'll melt right off. So I'm not worried about penetration issues because of the paint. I'm gonna do the same thing to the other side. 
set it up exactly the same way. If you need to do any corrections, do it now. If you need to bend it a little bit, if it's not 100% flat, now is the time because after this, you won't be able to bend it very much. So right now that you got one tack on there, it's the perfect time to do it. So now let me get a tack over here on this side. You got those up there. Now we're gonna move on to the bottom ones. So you get your, your ground clamp and you use it as your best friend. So we're gonna line this up right here, right at the edge. Uh, in my case, I had cut it longer and I ended up you know, nipping it over here, cutting it over here, so I got sharp edges. So I'm gonna take advantage of this time since I am gonna cut the bottom of this off. I'm just gonna go ahead and align it the way I said, you know, flush. And we wanna stay true, we wanna stay straight with this bottom line down here from the bracket. You wanna make sure you're straight with that. So here it's gonna look like it's it's a little bit off, you know, it's not gonna be on center, but that's that's a good thing because we're actually needing to come in some, okay. one over here as well the reason it's spitting like that a little bit is because of the paint so anyhow that is now there now we can remove this guy and do the same thing for the other side the one that I'm telling you to be aligned with is this back piece or the the back piece right here because you're not gonna be aligned with this one this one this one actually bows out a little bit on the on the bracket from the seat. So follow this one, the one on the bottom where it's narrower, where the gap is narrower. That's the one that you're going to follow, not this one. Uh, when we attach our uh, our little pieces of steel, we are going to attach it to this one. So it is going to be a little bit angled, but that is why we're going to do it like this. So you see how that is? Of course, I. Uh, that's why I mentioned earlier to cut it not so large, but yeah, it's gonna be like this We're gonna run it inside here. We're gonna run our weld through the outside right here and then right down there All right, so those are just some silly little tacks just to just to get us on there so now that we got those in place, now we start putting our uh, our actual supports of, we're ac of what we're actually going to use, okay? Now that I got my uh, my welds all done, damn, I got some peanuts right there. <laughs> uh, yeah, did all those. You know, everything's welded all the way across. You know, I want to ensure that I'll never have an issue with this. You know, welded on the bottom, welded on the top. Same thing on this side up here, you know. So everything's all good. Now it's time to cut the excess here that we're not gonna need. Uh, I was already gonna start cutting. Uh, almost forgot to uh, to start recording. But yeah, I'm pretty much gonna cut it right there, right where 
you see so so this went down the moment that it that it uh that it's about to straighten out again right there that's where i'm gonna make my cut at same thing on this side right where it's gonna straighten out so right there and right there all right now let's get our our handy dandy notebook i'm just kidding man how many of y'all used to watch blues clues i can't believe i actually kind of enjoyed that when i was a kid this is where the holes are right and this is now going to come in handy for here now you might be wanting to to line it up with with the uh bracket that you just did the paper but don't do that get the holes up higher because you want the holes to end up i hope you can see this you want the holes to kind of end up in the middle of here because if you end up too close to the bracket you'll hit the bracket and just in case you got blinded by the light over there uh you want the hole to come out somewhere like like right here you know or the bolt to come through right here not over here because then when you go on and put the nut the washer is gonna hit your your you know the the mount so you don't want that that and i noticed that this one it was not the same on the car and I have a mess in the car now. Yeah, I still gotta vacuum up this side. So I have one hole right here. And then I have another one right there. Okay, and this one actually came out a little bit further, which is why I had to wallow out that hole some more. Okay, that's lined up. That's lined up. I'd rather, I'd rather check it twice and drill once. That means the hole's actually gonna be a little more towards the outside there. So I'm gonna make my marks. And then I'll make these marks on this side. And then I'll compare. Okay, so that's pretty, it's actually pretty even there. If you look at this part of the bracket. So are we gonna clear? Yeah, we'll clear. And yes, we'll clear. It'll be, you know, high up enough. So what you'll do, we'll start off by drilling these and then we'll get ourselves some bolts, right? Well, this ain't exactly a bolt, but it'll work. And then we'll hold our paper up right here with those holes and then we'll figure out where the bottom holes gotta be. Now we go on to the little painting process. Uh, you wanna get yourself some red Scotch-Brite and you wanna sand everything that pretty much you heated up and that you, uh, that you welded to, everything that is unpainted, that is bare metal. Make sure you, you scuff all that up and then either use alcohol or wax and grease remover, whatever you have to clean. Just clean that up and then spray it with something. It's gonna be inside the car, so don't overthink it. Don't worry about primers and this and that. It's gonna be inside the car, you'll be okay. If it was for something that's outside, then I would understand. And well, in my case, that's already, it's got kind of like surface rust all over the place there anyways, but uh, you, you'll kind of see this, you know, so I wanna make sure that I protect this and for it not to look all nasty. So anyway, do that, clean it up, paint it. It is now the moment of truth for me. Uh, so everything's all painted up. And uh, dry enough-ish. <laughs> so I'm gonna put them on, I can't wait. I cannot wait. Okay, bolt, nut, and the two bolts that go on the front. All right, looks like I'm ready. Let's get 
get some light in here. All right, so let's see if we're gonna line up. Well, got all the bolts in. That's all that looks down there. And then there's that guy right there. And now let's come on over to the back. Okay, so now we're in the back seat. See, there's that nut over there. And then you got this guy in here. So they're all accessible and it works out great. Now I gotta power up the seats so I can move it back the way I wanted to have it, the way I wanna have it. Oh man, that looks so good. That looks so good. Well, I hope this information was useful. If it was, please hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. It gives YouTube feedback and lets them know that this is good content. Thank you all for watching. Until next time.